first item on our agenda is a continued hearing for 11 Kimmer Street. Come up and reintroduce yourself and yes. give us uh, an update, yes, please. Got some out here today, so. Okay. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Thank you. So just to introduce ourselves, my name is Nick from Fast Signs. I'm the um, sign company for uh, Lisa and Scott. They're the owners of uh, Floss Med Spa. So we're just seeking to uh, have an exterior sign to give their business presence uh, as they've moved from Stoneham to Burlington. And we feel that these <coughs> signs are essential for their presence. Um, and obviously from last time we made revisions given that the size was too large um, on the building. So there's a couple options there. Uh, and I don't know if, if that's how you guys want us to do or if, if that's not following protocol, but I figured to give you guys three packets to show you some options that we could do. Um, you know, the, the color, for whatever reason, this color printer, the teal is not coming out quite like, it'll be a really nice looking teal color. Um, so I don't know if any one of these look better than the others. These are some options we came up with. Okay. Um, start with Adam. Any questions or comments? Uh, sure. Um, just haven't had a chance to review the new ones yet, but um, one of the concerns was the size of the lettering. Um, has that been reduced in these new ones? Yep. So the overall size of the last one, I think, was 31 inches by 208. So basically 31 by 210. And now it's 14 by 180. So the size in square footage is basically cut in half. Thank you. But the height, yeah, the height's definitely... The height of the letters, the overall height of the sign was 31 inches. The height of the letters was 24 inches, and now they're reduced to 14. <laughs> I think last meeting, I wasn't here, but it was, there was a question about the lumens. Yes. Um, so on that one, I added it on page two. Uh, and I apologize if that doesn't directly answer the question again, but I know that for, for this is the same, like, uh, I sent this to corporate and they gave me this back. So this will definitely fit within the, those guidelines. I think it was, was it, uh, what was the number? Nine, nine, nine. Yeah. I should have written in exactly what that is. We can condition it so that okay. for sure that it'll be it'll be within that. Okay. Anything else? Yep, no, I'm good. Charles. Um, do you have a a document that has the those dimensions for the new sign? Oh, it's up on the top. Oh, I didn't see that. All right. Okay. In that case, I don't have any questions. Cool. Uh, Mark? So I know there was a question last uh, meeting regarding the location of the signs, and I did agree with uh, my colleague that the signs, that it really didn't seem to be necessary to have two signs that the one that was facing off to Cambridge Street was enough. Uh, you know, that was, that was, those were, I, I agree with her thoughts. I think you did a good job, you know, reducing the size of the sign. I, myself, just looking at the examples that you provided, uh, I, I tend to go with the, the one that wasn't that's not colored, that this one here that shows the uh, nice white uh, 
flawless med spa sign. I just have an objection to the lo the other location, the side location. I think the only thing we're. I mean, sorry, apologies. I mean, do, we and the thought was, you know, Dental Bright is the owner of the building, and they had also said that they thought it would be best if we did both on the corners, because because it just matches more harmoniously. I guess uh, I'm going to reserve my. My thoughts on that. I, sure. <laughs> I, I agree that you want, you know, you might want some symmetry, but, uh, you know, my, my sense is that, uh, that one sign is enough, but I'll listen to the other members on that. Those are my thoughts. Thank you. Okay. John? Okay. Well, you already know my opinion. I, I do appreciate you coming back in with a smaller sign. I'm, I'm not saying I'm <clears throat> voting no on it, but I'm going to wait and see how tonight goes. But what about if there's are there more tenants in the building? No. It's strictly just you two? Yes. <coughs> I just, I don't like multiple signs in a building, all right? And it's, 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 I like to try to keep it down to a minimum when I think it's necessary. I don't think your sign is going to be dragging customers in off of Cambridge Street for you. So I think I'm, I'll just reserve it. I like the white sign, like Mark says. If I had to pick one of the three, I would prefer the white one. And if, uh, if the board sees fit to give you one of the two signs, then I'll, I probably won't stand in your way. All right, I... What's that? May I speak? Yeah. Uh, I have to ask the chairman first. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Well, we have had three people come in just from having the temporary sign up um, that oh. normally wouldn't know we were in the building. So it does, it does improve our That's visibility and our business, our revenue. Uh, we would like to be seen with a tool that we could have a sign. Um, if, if I had known that we couldn't have a sign, you know, I would have just bought an office condo and be hidden in a building. So I think that the sign is very important. Um, where we did move from Stoneham to Burlington, we are going to lose some customers um, from the move, and you know that was uh, something that we were told that we would be able to have a sign and we would be visible. So I, th I think that's very important to our business. Okay, so that's something I want to speak to as well. Um, uh, not your temporary sign, but uh, other signage as far as the building goes. With, I mean, this board always puts on caveats that you know there's no other signs even if by right but I would even as long as they're going to be the smaller and I didn't realize it was just a two year two year in there I think the one sign facing Cambridge Street is, is enough but if the board sees otherwise I'll acquiesce to them about that but I would also be want to put a condition on there that there be no signs in the windows okay you know because a lot of these places that once they get their signs up then they pepper the windows with signs. No, like and so if it moves forward, I'm going to insist that, or I'm going to do my best to insist that there be no other signs in those windows. All right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I think you did a, I think you did a good job listening to what the board had to say. You reduced the size, I mean, in half. I think you're longer than what the bylaw allows, so that's where you need the variance. But if, I think if you stack this, if you put flawless on top of med spa, I, I actually think you'd meet the bylaw. You'd be compliant. I think, I don't think it would work as well in the space that you're, that you have there. So I think this is a better option. So I, I don't have a problem with it. And as far as the two signs go, I work down in that area, a couple buildings down, so I know that from either direction, people traveling on Cambridge Street, they can't see that other sign. So if you have one, you're going to miss the people either going north or you're going to miss the people going south. So that's, I would agree that you need both of those signs. And the fact that you reduce the size by probably almost 50%, I think it's an improvement. So um, right now, we'll open it up to the public. This is a public hearing. Anyone? In favor or against this proposal, would like to speak? Seeing none. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Motion is made and seconded to close the public hearing. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, anyone else? Comments?
comments, questions? Uh, Just that, that if, if, uh, if it's going the way it looks like it's going to go, then I would, I would like to see those two caveats put in there, or else I'm just going to vote no. So no signs in the windows? No and signs in the windows and no other signs, even if by right. So if you know, no other signs, even if by right, would that cover the, the windows? No. Oh, no, because they got the right, they can put signs in the windows. Well, I just just I, like we did down for CVS, we did the same thing at CVS. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I don't think it hurts to be repetitive about it. Yeah, we'll I just, think he's saying that no other signs would cover you with the window signs. Oh, I dis well, I yeah. disagree. Right, I don't, so. I don't think it hurts to put them both in there. So, um, and I guess just further discussion so we know what we're talking about. Um, I guess I would agree that the the one that's the white lettering with not the green background would be preferable. And, I don't know if anyone else has. I mean, the same one that Mark had yeah. mentioned. That's the one I prefer. Right. <clears throat> anyone else thoughts on that? Before? I would agree. Okay. Yeah, I, I like the one. All right. <clears throat> All right, unless there's any other discussions, if there's a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the wall signs. I'm going to do the actual numbers because there's no real date or plan number on here. Unless I'm missing that, too. No. So you're going to do the actual dimensions? Yeah. So make a motion to approve a uh, two wall signs for Flawless Med Spa. Um, sign A on the east elevation, top right corner below the roof line. 14.17 inches in height by 180 inches in length. And sign B, a wall sign on the north elevation on the top left corner below the roof line at 14.17 inches in height and 180 inches in length. With the conditions to not exceed 90 lumens per square foot, um, no other signs, even if by right, and Specifically, no window signs, even if by right. Okay. Second. I just. Yeah, we're gonna do more, something. Though. I just thinking, do we need to reference this plan only because the font is different from the original? Yeah, I'd like to do that myself. Just, I, think I don't. Know. You can. We're gonna reference it with the wall. I'd say with the, as plan submitted. With yeah, showing the white lettering and no background. Plan submitted showing the white lettering with no background. Okay. And do we have any lumens? He mentioned the lumens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the motion is made and edited. So second. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Five. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're all set. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate this. Uh, long. Welcome to Burlington. All right, uh, the only other item on our agenda is the minutes. Has everyone had a chance to read the minutes from August 30th, uh, 20th? Yes. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. Second. Motion is made and seconded to accept the minutes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 5 0. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Motion is made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 5-0. Meeting adjourned.